there everyone. Uh, one of the biggest requests I've had uh, so far is the hot metal effect. Um, you might have seen it on some of the uh, Imperial Knights I did for Mini Wargaming and some of their um, Salamanders as well. Well, a few of you have been asking how to do it and uh, eventually I've got round to doing the video and I'm going to show you today how to get the hot metal effect. It's dead straightforward airbrush effect. Um, very, very basic skill. You don't need to be a master of the airbrush or a fantastic artist or miniature painting to get this effect. Um, it's done with five paints, which I'll go through with you now. Um, first type you'll need is a silver. I use the Army Painter Shining Silver. You can use any equivalent. Uh, I use a, a mixture of Reaper, um, uh, Army Painter, Vallejo, Games Workshop paints. Um, but whatever takes your fancy. Well, I use the, uh, the Army Painter Shining Silver for this. Um, you're going to need a gold. Uh, I use the, uh, the Citadel one for this one, the uh, Retributor Armour. Uh, it's, I think it's a good uh, gold for it. It's more yellow than gold, I'd say, so that's the kind of colour you want to go for. Uh, you're also going to need a purple. I go for the Army Painter Alien Purple for this one. And a blue, a dark blue you want for this, and I've found the uh, the Vallejo Model Air range is really good for this one. Um, so you need a really good blue, and to top it all off, you're going to need uh, to put a soot effect, so a black, any black will do. Um, you can use the, I use the Abaddon Black from Games Workshop, but any, ma any black will do, whichever you've got in your palette. Um, there's one other paint you can use for it if you really want to. You don't have to, but it's up to you. Is uh, I use this one, the uh, smoke effect from Vallejo. I just find it puts an extra bit of uh, gritty effect onto your gun, and it makes it look more, more sooty, more carbon build up. Uh, I'll show you some other pieces I've done. You've seen the uh, this one here. That's got it on. You can't really tell with the. Uh, on the camera unfortunately but in life you, you, you got the black and then you can see it just looks a bit more a bit more drab a bit more matte effect to it but uh, I've put a bit more on this bit here and you can see it kind of makes it hazy on the end I've put a bit more there and it gives it like a scorched effect to it so there's some of the effects you can get with that paint and you can use the same effect, not just for guns, but I use it for exhaust as well. And on this Imperial Knight, I've done it on the hot metal exhaust here as well. Let's see if we can get some better light on this. But yeah, that's the kind of uh, effect you'll be able to pull off with this technique I'm going to show you. So as long as you've got those paints, you and a decent airbrush, well, you don't even need a decent airbrush, any airbrush will do. The one I'm using at the moment is... Uh, only cost me seven pound. It's it's not a very good airbrush at all, but it does a trick. And uh, hey, like I said, you don't have to be a master of the airbrush. It's a dead simple, uh, dead simple effect. And I'll take you over to the spray booth and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first step we're going to do is to spray all the gun with the uh, with the silver so I'm just going to load the airbrush up right, the model's uh, previous has been uh, prime black so what you need to do now is start off at the far end of the of the gun or whichever uh, part of the model you're spraying and spray the whole lot silver get a good even coat uh, it's best to do this in thin layers all over rather than start off in one area and then just keep topping it up until you've reached the whole model. Go right to the very ends of the barrels and that's your first step pretty much done. Right, we're gonna go on to the gold now so uh, Go. Once you get your uh, gold, what you need to do is spray it over your silver, but leave a small area of the silver at the rear of the gun still showing. The idea of this is to build it up in layers, but leave a, a fraction of the previous layer still showing. 
so you uh, do exactly the same process but not starting at the very back so you leave some of the silver already there and this is what you do with every single layer you just keep doing this and leaving a previous layer exposed about well a few millimeters at a time All we do is just uh, repeat the process now with the purple, leaving a bit of the gold still exposed, working your way to the end of the barrel again. It really is a quick, easy process to do. Um, this is this is all done in real time, really. There's there's no there's no speeding up or anything. It's just literally. What it is. So you can see there the previous silver and the gold still there and then a small amount of purple on the end as well. Again try not to overdo it in one area you want to keep turning it and going back to areas and just using small layers at a time building it up that way rather than in one area lots of spray and then one area lots of spray just a small amount each time and then just taper it out towards the end. ready for the next stage. So all we do now is just add the blue in exactly the same way as we've done the previous three layers, leaving some of the uh, existing purple exposed. Sorry about the lighting, it's not fantastic, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it when I hold it up to the light soon. You can get different effects as well, if it depended on how many layers of the previous uh, colour you want to expose. For example, you could leave a fraction of a millimetre of gold left, and, and then a fraction of purple, and then lots of black for a really heavy carbon effect, or you can do it the other way around, where lots of silver where the gun's getting very, very hot. Or less silver and more black towards the rear of the gun so it just it looks like it's starting to get hot. So it's basically just playing around and until you uh, until you get what uh, what you desire. So that's the uh, blue done. And the final step would be the black. Citadel Abaddon Black for this, but like I said earlier, you can use any any paints. Obviously, good paints, not poster paints. But uh, yeah, there's no no particular brand, and I just use these because it's yeah, they just work for me. But everyone's got personal preference. And all you do here is just go right in the very very tips with black, covering up the uh, the oversprays from the previous colours. So you want all the end black, and that gives the carbon effect. pretty much done. You don't really need to do anything else to that. That's it. There is one final stage which I'll go on to now but this is optional. Now, this is the uh, Vallejo smoke effect. I find this fantastic for putting on to uh, flyers and things like that around the guns and exhausts. It gives a really good smoke effect and a dusty effect really really quick. But uh, on guns, it's, it's, it's just a little uh, OCD of mine. Just put it on the end. It doesn't really need it, but I'll just demonstrate it here anyway. 
but it's great for things like flamers and things like that if you want to give it a good uh, a good gritty effect and make it look a bit more smoky and used and realistic but very very light spray on the end right in the very tips but like I say the black is probably all you need to do but play around with the effect and uh, uh, like I said move the colours up and down depending on how much colours you want exposed at a time and that's all there is to it if you like what you see uh, please leave a comment below if there's anything else you'd like to see uh, also leave a comment or a question and I'll hopefully get around to making more videos Thanks for watching.